Hey everyone, this is Eric Sloof over at ntpro.nl and in this video I'm going to show you how to install a Horizon View security server and also how to uh, enable the security server with uh, CA signed certificates and the same goes for the connection server. So what's the deal? Let's go to the admin console of our connection server. Um, yeah, this is the, the warning I get and I want to get rid of this certificate error. It's a self-signed certificate which was created during the installation of the connection server and when I log on with view admin and I provide the password and I go to the dashboard of my uh, connection server then you will see a red status at servers and if users are trying to log on with their uh, few clients then they also get a red message what we see here is that the connection server is showing red because yeah uh, it's not configured with a trusted certificate on the other hand my student desktop is a replica server which is configured with a valid certificate and that one shows up green i want to have the same for my connection server before we start with configuring certificates, I first want to install a security server. So let's go to the server section right here. And what we see at the connection server tab is that we have the connection server with the unsigned certificate and the student server with the signed certificate. I'm jumping to my security server RDP session and this is where I'm going to kick off the installation of the security server. So that's pretty, it's easy. Uh, the only thing that we have to do is provide the fully qualified dom. Oh, that was too fast. <laughs> the only thing we have to do is provide the fully qualified domain name of the security, the connection server we want to hook up with. And after that, we have to pair the security server and the connection server. And then we're done. So let's see if it works. The passwords must be generated on the connection server. So if I go to this connection server and I go to more commands, I can specify a pairing password. And I also uh, I'm able to uh, configure how long this password will be valid. 30 minutes should be enough. Okay, let's go back to the security server. Password. Okay. And now the installation will continue and there is a pairing between the security server and the connection server. Typically the security server is hosted within a DMZ and um, it's not a member of Active Directory and um, yeah that's why you can uh, use it in uh, a less secure environment. So let's continue with the installation and the thing is when you install a security server it also generates a self-signed certificate uh, so the services are starting and now the installation is completed we click on finish and the security server is up and running but when we go to the certificates uh, and we go to the certificate store then we see that a self-signed certificate was created in order to issue a ca signed certificate we first have to go to our domain controller so if I go to the general infrastructure and I go to the domain controller this is where I can start the service man the server manager and then add roles and features the only thing you have to do at your domain controller is um, add the active directory certificate services and that can be done by enabling this certificate authority and you can also additionally cert enable the certificate authority web enrollment when you have done that you can start issuing your own ca signed certificates so let's go back to the security server we are going to delete this self-signed certificate yes and we are going to add our own ca signed certificate we are requesting a new certificate it's based on active directory it's the active directory enrollment policy it's a computer certificate and when we jump to the details we can specify that this certificate is 
configured with the friendly name VDM. That's mandatory for all the certificates that are used in Horizon View. And we also have to make the private key exportable. So once we did this, we are OK and ready to enroll. Finish. Now the certificate shows up, issued by our own certificate authority. So that's nice. If I go to my... Uh, I have to reboot this host. I can start, stop and start services, but uh, rebooting is, uh, is faster. <laughs> so restart the connection server. Let's go... Or let's restart the security server. Let's go to the connection server and let's do the same trick, guys. So if we go here to our certificate settings, and this is also the self signed certificate, we are removing this certificate. Delete. Yes. And then we're going to issue a new certificate for this connection server. So request a new certificate and Again, it's an Active Directory certificate, and we go to create a computer certificate, and we have to go to the details, to the properties, configure the friendly name, VDM, Virtual Desktop Manager. That was the name of Horizon View 10 years ago. Uh, the key components uh, make this key exportable. Okay, enroll, finish. So now we have created two CA signed certificates and also here we are going to reboot the connection server. So let's restart this guy here. Um, let's go back to the security server um, and let's see if it's up and running already. Well it seems to be up and running but sometimes it takes a while until the daemon actually is running. So uh, yeah, it looks okay. It's initiating. What we eventually want to do is connect with this Horizon client in a secure way to both the client, to both the security server and the connection server. So this client uh, is configured with the connection server and the security server. And when both servers are available, I want to get rid of the annoying red warning in HTTPS. I want to have a green lock in my connection. So let's see how the connection server is doing. This one is also up and running and we give it some time to start all the demons responsible for Horizon View. And uh, after the demons are started, we can try to log on to the administrative interface of this connection server. So let's log on to the connection server and what you immediately can notice is that there is a little lock here and this lock is indicating that we have a signed certificate. We can view this certificate and this is the same certificate we've created with our own certificate authority, the vclass.local certificate. So when I provide the username and password, you can see that, um, yeah, let's take a look at the dashboard. So the dashboard shows us that the connection server is green, the student server is green, and also the security server is green. Let's go to that security server, guys. So at the security server, we have the landing page where people can download the Horizon client or have access to the web client. And again, this one is also secure. So we see that we have a CA signed certificate. Cool. So let's go to the client. And if we start the client, we should be able to get a connection with a nice green URL. So VMware, oh, VMware one explanation mark. And then I have access to my linked clone desktop pool. Awesome. Okay, so this is Eric Sloof. I'm signing off. And I hope you will generate some signed certificates in your view environments. Bye bye.